cycling outdoors versus cycling indoors is one of the great debates of the modern cycling age, especially since the advent of smart turbo trainers and software such as Zwift, Sufferfest and Trainer Road, riding indoors can be an absolutely terrific way to get fit. But here in Europe, some of us have a great other option, which is riding outdoors. And we can either get wet and dirty out there or get, well, sweaty in here. There are great arguments for both of them. And in this video, I'm gonna to get to the bottom of it. But before I do, I'll just take a moment for our friends across the Atlantic for whom riding outdoors in the winter time is not an option. Bad luck. One of the biggest benefits of training indoors is the nature of the sessions you can do and how they tend to be very precise and focused on exactly what you need. If you're applying power in an interval session on your smart turbo trainer, it's likely that it's going to be in a very precise band without very much fluctuation at all. This is the same with your cadence and without the natural ebb and flow of the road, it's unlikely that your cadence is going to change very much, which makes the workout a lot harder. A flywheel is also a lot harder to move than a wheel across the road, and it puts a greater focus on your glutes and your hamstrings. Add into the mixture that it's likely to be a lot warmer when you're training inside, and your heart rate is gonna be more elevated because of it, and it's gonna be an all-round harder workout. But surely riding outdoors is harder. Riding on an actual bike on an actual road activates different muscle sets than what you would get riding a static bike inside, including your calf muscles and your core muscles. Plus, studies have shown that riding outdoors in the cold and the wind and the rain is gonna burn more calories than riding indoors, where weight loss tends to just be water from sweat. It's true, I find a six hour epic on the weekend a lot harder than even the hardest indoor training session. It makes my legs more tired and I'm hungrier too. Very easy for a cyclist that has the time to do a six hour epic on the weekend to say that riding outdoors is better than riding indoors. But for those of us whom our time is precious or we have a great deal of time constraints, riding indoors can be an absolute godsend. And for those outdoor cyclists who say that riding indoors is for the lazy or for wimps, they clearly haven't tried completing the Gorby on Zwift because that would change their mind. Outdoor cycling builds grit, develops your spirit, or at least that's what my old man always says. But it's true. Where would cycling be without some of its most famous hard men, the likes of Tom Bonin and Eddie Merckx? I want my riding to replicate theirs, but it is a little bit cold today. Okay, I'd agree that grit is important to all cyclists, but it's a lot easier for the pros to train outdoors because, well, the pros need to be able to race in any conditions. It's a lot safer for amateur riders to ride indoors in the winter. It means we don't have to go out on the dangerous dark roads and we can avoid them when it's icy and slippy. And we can avoid traffic too, which makes the whole experience a lot safer. Besides, my bike doesn't get nearly as grubby when I'm indoors. I just have to wipe my sweat off the top of it. Riding outdoors is a much better way to build a social life. You'll join a club and then you'll get to ride with all of your friends. I'm meeting my friends later on, honest. But it's true, if you do that, you're gonna develop new skills such as riding in a bunch, pointing out road furniture or holes, and you're gonna develop your bike handling skills as well. Besides, you get the best thing of all, which is riding in a group, and then going to a cafe for a coffee, or even better, going to the pub. Hey, yeah. Okay, so it's true, riding indoors is probably gonna get you that bit fitter. It's going to hone your performance a little bit more and the sessions are that bit more focused. But it's also less fun and it's not as enjoyable as being in the great outdoors and on your actual bike. And your motivation is likely to wane if you're stuck in your garage or your shed. And so for many people, and myself included, it's most likely that you train indoors so that you can enjoy outdoor riding when the time comes around. But what's your favorite type of training? Are you an indoor sufferer who likes to get the most out of their training sessions? Or are you a lover of the great outdoors 
who will ride through whatever the weather can throw at them, rain, wind, sleet or snow. Do let us know in the comments section below and if you have enjoyed this video then don't forget to like and subscribe to the Cycling Weekly YouTube channel. It's a lot safer for amateur riders to train indoors in the winter because you can escape the dangerous as dangerous I'm all over the place. Both from the top.